I'm very pleased to be announcing the future of Quickies, and that is Motiboto. And so what exactly is Motiboto? There's three major parts, and the first thing is going to be the hardware. We've got a brand new piece of beautiful hardware, and it is a custom-printed Apple aluminum keyboard. Yes, and it works with both Windows and Mac because of the second part of Multiboto, which is the software. We've got plugins, first of all, releasing for Lightroom, and another one that's going to be coming out shortly is going to be for Photoshop. So let's take a look at Lightroom first. Let's open up our first image, and it's going to revolutionize the way you work on images, the same way the Curity keyboard revolutionized handwritten notes. And let's see what I mean by that. Put your fingers where you would type and that's going to be on the F and J keys. And you're going to find that your fingers rest on the basic adjustments that you use most. And we've got dedicated keys for exposure up and exposure down. But what's even cooler than that, we've got the shift key option, which makes big increments so you can get really close to finish really fast. And so right now, I'm just about happy there. If you wanted to, you can swing over to develop mode. In develop mode, the keys work exactly the same way. We've got up and down the same way, but with much finer control. So we've got one tenth, and then with the shift key down, one third increments. And when I'm finished the image, I can go and tone it now. We've got access to 20 Lightroom presets. We include 10 of our own that Quinn and I love and we've created ourselves. And bonus, we've also included 10 totally rad Lightroom presets that we personally use and love. We've joined up with Totally Rad because we think they really are. And for this particular image, I'm going to choose an afternoon delight. And I'm done. Here's the before, here's the after. And that's all done with the keyboard. This image, I'm going to crop it first, choose the crop tool, and I'm going to lock in the aspect ratio um, just with a key. And bring that down and make that symmetrical on both sides, uh, right about there. And the next thing I'm going to do is just increase the exposure, increase the contrast just a little bit, and increase the fill light. And I'm about happy with that. One thing that I don't like about this particular image was the glare we had in the chair from a flash that we had firing. So I'm going to choose my brush tool. We also have eight local adjustment brushes and you can presets and you can create those presets yourself we include our own that we personally use I'm just gonna go in here and paint in that bench to darken that and even after I've painted that if it's not enough I can show my painting point and just decrease that until I'm happy with the way it disappeared and I am happy there from here I'm gonna just paint one more thing um, I'm gonna choose a dodge light and just paint in the bride's beautiful face. And from there, I'm gonna apply, um, I think I like the golden age for this particular image. Um, yeah, I do. I'm gonna increase the clarity on that just a touch here, and the contrast. And I'm liking that right there. Um, from there, I'm gonna add the vignette. And here is the before and after and I'm finished that image. Let's go to the next image. This one doesn't need a lot. I'm gonna press a space bar. It's gonna reveal where my highlights and my, my shadows are. I'm gonna decrease that so the exposure is perfect. Um, increase my contrast just a touch, add some clarity. And from there, I'm gonna add um, the shower of gold. And if you've got a bunch of images that you've done in the similar lighting and you want the same toning, super easy. Click next image with your pinky finger, hit previous settings and it applies exactly what you had in the previous image and so I'm just flying along and I'm done all those images are the same this is the power of Motiboto the future of quickies